In a stunning milestone for the world of online content creation, Ali El Gaspar has just uploaded his 100th video to his YouTube channel. With 53 loyal subscribers and a unique mix of memes and original music, Ali El Gaspar has quickly become a beloved figure in the world of online entertainment. Although he may not have the millions of subscribers that some of his peers enjoy, Ali El Gaspar has been able to carve out a niche for himself by creating videos that are both funny and surprisingly poignant. His most popular video, titled He's Coming For You, features a cartoon rat walking towards the screen. While it may seem like a simple concept, the video has resonated with viewers around the world, earning almost 10,000 views and countless comments. When asked about his success, Ali El Gaspar credits his unique blend of humor and heart for attracting viewers. I think people really respond to content that makes them feel something, he says. Whether it's laughter or nostalgia or even a little bit of sadness, I try to create videos that connect with people on an emotional level. In addition to his meme-based videos, Ali El Gaspar has also released several original songs on his channel. While they may not be topping the charts just yet, his music has earned him a loyal following and helped him stand out from the crowd. As he celebrates this major milestone, Ali El Gaspar says he's excited to continue creating content and growing his channel. I never could have imagined that I'd be where I am today, he says. But I'm so grateful for all the support from my fans and excited to see where this journey takes me next. With his 100th video now live on his channel, Ali El Gaspar shows no signs of slowing down. Whether he's creating new memes, writing catchy tunes, or simply making his viewers laugh, this rising star of the YouTube community is sure to keep making waves in the world of online content creation. Hello, corn. Maybe she can't hear me in there. I made you in my image, you will do as I say! <laughs>
Hello LAL Gasper, this is James, and I hate roofs. It's an honor to be in contact with such a large and successful creator, and I want to wish you well on your journey. I know there are challenges to face ahead, but with enough hard work and determination, I know you can make your dreams a reality. So keep at it and don't let anything get in your way. Happy 100th video LEL Gasper. Continue with your great videos, and I know that you will be successful. I send my best wishes your way. I hope that you can make all of your dreams and goals come true. I'm getting a little annoyed and I'm really nervous because I'm usually asleep by now. Unless he's going to sleep and then after he's not going to go back home with headphones and big hats and big plays, he doesn't have to fully remember the number 6135 and he doesn't know some needed. In a shocking announcement, Eliel Gasper and Nikki Blackwell have revealed that they will be releasing a sequel to their infamous album Earth, also known as the worst album ever. The new album, titled Oof to Bad, is set to be released later this year. The original Oof album was a collaboration between Eliel Gasper and Nikki that was intended to be a humorous take on music production. However, the album was widely panned by critics and listeners alike with many calling it unlistenable and a waste of time. Despite the negative reception, Aliel Gasper and Nikki are undeterred and are eager to continue their musical journey with If To Bad, according to the duo, the new album will be even more experimental and unconventional than the first. With a focus on pushing the boundaries of what is considered music. We know that If wasn't for everyone, but we had a lot of fun making it, says Nikki. With Oof to Bad, we're going even further down the rabbit hole, and we can't wait to see what people think. Ali El Gasper adds, we're not taking ourselves too seriously with this album. We're just having fun and making music that we enjoy. If people like it, that's great, but if not, that's okay too. Despite the initial backlash against Oof, the album has developed a cult, following in recent years, with some listeners praising its unconventional approach and offer kilter humour. Whether Oof to Bad will be met with the same level of acclaim remains to be seen, but one thing is for certain. Lil Gasper and Nikki Blackwell are not afraid to take risks and push the boundaries of what is considered acceptable in the world of music. I'm sorry Ethan, but I'm not joining your side.
And that's why Percy and Pierre are objectively the best for each other. Yeah, my mash.